Hi, this is Pat Johnson, your sociology instructor. In this mini lecture, I want to talk about generalizations and stereotypes. The key thing to remember is make generalizations, not stereotypes. Your teacher, I guess I'll look this way, is female, in her 50s, white, Catholic, I have Irish ethnicity, and Polish ethnicity. So what are some stereotypes of those characteristics? Well, I've had classes actually do this, and they came up with some pretty mean things to say about my various characteristics. Don't get me wrong. I asked them to stereotype me, but it became immediately obvious that we can come up with stereotypes about people pretty fast, and they're not usually very nice. So here are the characteristics of stereotypes. Stereotypes ignore facts, and they distort reality. Stereotypes are usually put-downs, not always, but usually. For example, one time I had a student who was of one of the many Asian ethnicities say that he was stereotyped all the time for being Chinese ethnicity, and it wasn't negative, but it was annoying. He said in math class, he always had people try to cheat off of him because people assumed because he was Asian, he must be good at math. He said he wasn't good at math at all, and it really annoyed him that people always stereotyped Asians that way. Now, being good at math may be a somewhat positive stereotype, but usually stereotypes are pretty negative. Also, stereotypes don't allow for exceptions. They're usually statements such as all blank, are blank. Here's some examples. I told you that I have Irish ethnicity in me. When my students stereotyped my Irish heritage, they said all people who are Irish are drunks. The other stereotype that they came up with had to do with my being Catholic. They said if you're Catholic, you must have gone to one of those Catholic schools where there were all those mean nuns who punished you all the time. Well, yes, I did go to a Catholic grade school for seven years during my childhood, but the nuns were very kind women, and they were extremely good er educators. They weren't mean at all. We're going to make generalizations, not stereotypes, in this course. Here are the criteria for generalizations. Generalizations seek the truth. They are based on data, and they allow for exceptions. When you make a generalization, you are never going to say, all blank are blank. You're going to do more like what we did when we did the map correlations in the correlations video. For example, there is a negative correlation between economic development and childbearing rates in societies, in countries. In general, as the economic development of a country goes up, the childbearing rate goes down. Key in on that word, in general. In general means this is a usual trend, but there are exceptions. And again, you can see how this generalization was based on data. We looked at the maps in the last video. So again, make generalizations, not stereotypes, when you're doing sociology. Sociologists use data. They allow for exceptions. They're not going to put down people, and we always, always see.